Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you are using your PC and require a VPN from time to time, but don't know where to go, don't know you know what to what service to use, uh, and you don't really use it much, but you sometimes need to use it. Or if you're on public Wi-Fi, for example, it could be very useful to use a VPN to kind of secure your system even more when you're browsing the web. Well, you can actually use one that's already in Windows in your Microsoft Edge browser. Once you go to the Microsoft Edge browser, simply go to the upper right corner, the three horizontal dots, go into Settings, and here on the left side, you'll have Privacy, Search, and Services. If you go down this page, you will notice that there's one side of security that's called Microsoft Edge Secure Network. By default, this is off. So what you could do is just turn it on. Remember that before you use it for the first time, there's a panel that's going to appear over here that will ask you to, uh, if you really want to use it, to click the Get the Free VPN service. So you simply click Get Free VPN, and from there, you can choose three different levels. All sites means every single website you visit, your uh, IP is changed. You're using a encrypted tunnel, so it can't really track you where you are. Um, there's the optimized, which is recommended, and there's the select sites, which means you could just use it for specific websites that you want, um, in, and it's going to be in the custom VPN list that you add the websites uh, that you that you go to. So this is the information. Below it, you'll see a little uh, arrow. There's managing the websites that you go to, uh, so which websites you want to add or remove for uh, your VPN if you want, and so on. And you can, of course, add a site that never used Secure Network for these sites. So you can really customize all of it and uh, then enjoy um, some VPN, some uh, uh, encrypted tunnel and which your IP address uh, is hidden. Before you start using it, remember to restart the Edge browser to make sure that it's in effect. And you know what? You'll be simply on your way on. Remember, there's only five gigabytes of data per month on a VPN through Edge. Uh, there are some subscription VPNs that you can use within Edge, but um, I'm not sure I would use that. I would probably use something else uh, as a VPN if I had to pay for it. But for somebody that just needs a VPN from time to time, uh, it's a quick way to get the VPN working. And once um, you know you are done, you can simply go back into your settings, turn it off if you want to turn it off. And uh, that's as simple as this. And you will be back into regular browsing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.